Hello and welcome back to another devlog on my planet exploration game. In this video I want to show you how my week as a hobby game developer is like and what I have done in the past week. So on Monday after my full time job I decided to work on my game again. And because it's been a while I've worked on this game I saw that the character movement is way too snappy. I don't know it doesn't feel squashy and if you move the character from A to B it snaps and the animation are not good. I mean you can see it in the background video right? So I have reworked that in a way that the character is moving his head more and is jumping more in the air and the whole character feels more squashy and like a bit more cartoony you know? On Tuesday I worked on the shaders of the laser. Because the laser itself looked yeah a bit weird but after creating the shader which I tried to make as wobbly as I can and as pulsy, is that a word? It turned out pretty good. And after creating the shader for the laser, I tried myself on a dissolve shader for the object the laser is destroying or collecting things. I tried using purling noise and just make the black stuff transparent and that's it. And now in combination the shader of both the dissolve effect and the laser are looking like the following. I think it's pretty cool because also the dissolve shader is blocky and this whole thing has a bit of a blocky look and I think this looks great in general. Of course it has to be more squashy, it has to be more, I would say, it needs more impact and does not have to be that squashy because you see okay the shader is working and then it disappears but I think for the start it looks kinda good. On Wednesday I decided to rework the objects for the stone because you see the stones are really 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 ugly and I thought that I want to have more variation in that and so I opened Magicka Voxel and created some cool new looking stones and then filled all the other stone prefabs with the new object and I also added a little 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 randomizer for all objects that all objects are rotated randomly and it gives the world a huge huge impact and I really love how that came out and yeah that's it what I did on Wednesday. You see I do a little progress day by day step by step but just baby steps and you see in this whole week I did not get much done but I think the whole game is getting done as I said with baby steps step by step. As I had really much to do on Thursday, I skipped the day and didn't work on the game, but now on Friday, you see, I worked on the audio. Yeah, well, <laughs> you don't see it, you can hear it. I created a bit of background music and some environment sounds, like uh, when you pick up an item or when the player is moved to a new position, says a little pitched OK. And I think it turned out pretty well and you can hear a little bit now. Yeah, and that's basically all what happened in one week as a solo indie game developer with a real full-time job and the game development thingy is just a hobby. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then please hit the like button. If you don't like the video, then please hit the dislike button and comment down below what I could do better. And also, if you don't want to miss any new devlog on this game, then please hit the subscribe button. I hope we see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.